All right, welcome back. Or International Women's Day. And uh, questions for the ladies. Normally it's uh, rabid questions for the fellas, mm-hmm. but uh, we're looking to learn about women today. And I would like legitimate curiosity. I know some people, you know, it's funny, like the guy who texted over said, uh, have you ever sneezed at a tampon shot out? Right. <laughs> yeah. You know, I get like, you know, trying to be funny, but I, legitimate question. I know Greg's got some legitimate yeah. questions, and I think that's a good one that we got on the text uh, before we went to the break about why is it that, uh, you know, women always say they want the nice guys. There's no nice guys out there, but then they always go for, uh, you know, bad guys or criminals. Like they'll write to always. women in prison and our rights are dudes in prison and yeah. mm-hmm. things like that. So, like, what, like, what is that? We brought in uh, Morgan. Good morning, Morgan. Good morning. And uh, Caroline's working from home today. Right. Lucky. Otherwise, uh, we could have her piped in here. But uh, all right. So, you guys have an answer for that, Ravy, Sammy, Morgan? No. Well, it, it it's more exciting. Number one, because the nice guys mm-hmm. can be boring. So it is more exciting. And then also, it's like seeing the other side. You're like, well. I know that, you know, you see him as a murderer, but you don't know him the way <laughs> that's I right. do. Excuses. There's another side. I think that's a good theory. There's always potential for change, and right. you're the one well, that can do yeah, the I did, changing. I did see something uh, about that. Somebody on the text, 610, texting over, women go for the bad guys because they want to be the person or the reason the guy changes for yeah. the better. Right. They like the fantasy that they're so special, someone would magically become the perfect man for I mean, them. it never no. works out that way. Yeah, I mean, well, Ravi yeah. had that <laughs> meth <laughs> guy. Sure. Yeah. But I'm going back to the part where they're boring the nice guys because these bad boys gives the women stuff to talk about with their friends. Like, oh, mm. he did this. He did that. And the other thing you that know, we talk conversation. about menace all the time is they will just, like, ignore them or be mean to them. Mm-hmm. And women love that. Nagging. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nagging. Right. Yeah. I think girls want to change someone. But also it's like. You want what you can't have. So okay. guys like yeah. the pursuit of a woman. I think women like that too. Guys do not like mm. the pursuit of a woman. What? No. Yes, they do. No. No. Hell no. No. Nope. I, w- no. no. Thousand percent, Woody. That's they incorrect. don't. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Incorrect. Shut up. That's you. That's yeah. 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 You that high? Whole, seriously, that that whole. The, I guess there are maybe a couple guys by the chase. You know they call, but like no. Nah. I no. think no. for the average guy, no I way. Not. I don't want to play really? any games. No, we Zero. Want it, we want it dropped in our lap. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but then you're bored. You move on to the next. No, 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 no. That's no. Just not no we're no. simple. That's not how. Just it is. feed nope. us. Oh wow. No, Keep that's, us happy. That's your brain, not ours. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I disagree with that. Uh, let's go to uh, Chris. Hey, good morning, Chris. What up, Chris? Up, Chris. Morning, guys. Morning. All right. So, what's your question for the ladies? So I want to know what the fascination is with the the size, shape, color of their boobs. They all seem to be so self conscious about their boobs, but to a guy, a boob is a boob. All right. Mm, Good question, question for the yeah. ladies. Uh, I, I have know. no idea. I don't <laughs> like, think I'm weird about my boobs. Yeah, Definitely not. I, I had either. mine reduced. I have no feeling in them. I don't even think about them. I don't even <laughs> care oh, about wow. them. Oh, <laughs> wow. Yeah, I mean, I guess. I don't, well, I yeah. think what he's kind of saying is, like, I've women, when they're, you know, they'll, they'll compare in a, ba- in a bathroom yeah. or locker room. Whereas guys will not do that with weens. I've never compared boobs with anybody. Same. Okay, I think no, it's different. Maybe, but co- being but we competitive, ta- we're talking about the cattiness and being competitive. But are, are you talking about, hold on, so when you say like you compare, like it's not like you're going, oh, hey, girl, let me see your boobs. It's uh, like I know. You're, in, done that. you're just kind of noticing other women or whatever, right? Or is it just like, yeah. Uh, it goes back to handbags. Like, oh, she has the better handbag. Oh, she has uh, the better boobs. I I I know women who have, especially if they have implants, who will they will take them out, look at them. Yeah. Right. They'll have that one, makes sense. One girl, I guess. one girl will feel the other girls yeah. and vice yeah. versa, and that's a good idea, yeah. by the way, to do a lot of that. All right, Chris, think. thanks, Ben. Appreciate the call. Greg Gore, you have like a list of questions. I have quite a few. I want to start with uh, why do women call e- their friends girlfriends? I had lunch with my girlfriend. Imagine if a guy said, "Hey, what'd you do today?" I had lunch, lunch with my, with my boyfriend. boyfriend. <laughs> well, that's more like a, a guy would never say that. that- She's it's nicer than saying like I had lunch friend? with this bitch. You know? Oh no, with like well, a my, friend. My friend. Yeah, I had lunch with a this friend. This is my. I would like you to meet my friend, mm. Samantha, not that's my girlfriend. I, that's true. So mm. It's Good point, so strange. Right. I mean, I don't usually say girlfriends, but yeah. I don't. I don't know. You say my gal pals. I don't say my gal pals. <laughs> I usually say like <laughs> my posse, my girl, <laughs> like my bestie, yeah. like something like that. Okay. All right. Um, picture an old timey scenario where it's cold out. The woman doesn't have a jacket. The man does, obviously, because he's prepared. <laughs> so he hands his jacket to the woman. Why don't you just put the jacket on? They always drape it over the shoulders. Oh. I don't 
get it. Is I the, don't think that that is a real life scenario. That I've is a seen Hollywood it. Yeah. scenario. My, every restaurant, my wife does ever. That. Yeah. I, yeah, I would say because mm-hmm. the sleeves are so long, it's not proportionate sure. to the girl. So if I put on a guy's jacket and he's six feet tall, yeah. the sleeves of a jacket that aren't easily rolled up because it's a suit jacket are going to okay. be super long. That makes, sense. Went right that makes six, sense. Six foot. Six foot. <laughs> six foot. <laughs> don't even. Yeah. She's uh, like four foot two, but you know she went right to six. Yep. Foot. Don't even try well, unless you're six foot. See this. This goes back to another thing that I was thinking about, like. Uh, a lot of women don't dress for the occasion. They dress for the arrival. Yes. Yeah. And then after five minutes, they're already sure. uncomfortable. They're absolutely. cold. Shoes are already off. Shoes hurt. Yep. You know what I mean? Ugh. Like you oh, can't absolutely. sit in whatever you're wearing. I lived in a cold climate. I had a friend come visit. She was wearing capri pants and a tank top. <laughs> and she was freezing to death. <laughs> and I'm like, play yeah. you kidding. knew yeah. where you were going. Yeah, I was she at a thing. Cute. Remember, I was at a thing. I was uh, doing something with Tori Spelling. Oh. And she had on something that she couldn't even sit in. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. It was right. so tight. Yeah, and so like oh. she, uh, they they had to kind of almost like prop her up against something. Oh, oh my <laughs> and god, she was miserable. Oh. You know what I mean? But like Sounds you were going to be there for a while. Yeah, but until, she looked good. But you literally can't sit down. But yeah. you you can't. Wow, you you just can't sit down. Yeah, ladies oh. with the shoes. Yeah, yeah. the shoes. You know, that's a big the thing. Worst. They're just impractical. You have to get those disposable flats. Yeah, and bring it, those with. By the way, with ladies, you. I'm impressed. When I can see uh, women walking around in heels, especially the real tall ones, mm-hmm. I don't know how you do it. I have no idea. How I get anxious when I watch a woman go down a set of stairs oh in uh, in heels. I I'm get like, anxious wow. yeah. like in movies when women in high heels are running. Like, yeah. Oh, my God, you're going to break your ankle. Yeah. Here's a question uh, on the text. What kind of things put you in the friend zone? That's a good Ooh. question. Hmm. Uh, being too nice, being too too nice, available, oh, yeah. Yeah. being a good guy. <laughs> yeah. I hate I to straight, say it, but yeah. it's true. Straightforward and honest. Yeah, straight yeah. shooter, not playing yeah. games. Yeah, no <laughs> That really screws yeah. you over. That's doing everything about. right. Yeah. I know. God damn it, being a gentleman, you know? Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, also never making a move. You put yourself there. Oh, that's it's true. It's not that we put you there, but when you become a reliable person in our lives that we confide in and enjoy hanging out with and you never made a move, you now are a friend because... I don't want to go through a scenario where we break up and now you're out of my life because I do really like you, so I want you to stick around. Okay, uh, but like if if you make a move and you're creepy, then you're creep. Right? Well, exactly. Yeah. You're, risk, you're, you're, you're taking a risk. You're taking a risk of being too fast, too forward, too like you know anxious. Or it is a risk, but you still have to do it. You got to do it because you have more. Uh, feelings than being a friend. So you just got to like you gotta know the answer. Up. Yep. If that's answer. what you're looking for. But yeah. what's what, annoying is women won't make the move. If the women love love the guy as yeah. well, like just show it. By the way, the guy will always accept it. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you know, whatever. If you make the move, he will always accept. Yeah. As always. a woman who makes the move, I'm telling you, ladies, do it. It's such a superpower because guys don't get approached yeah. or made the move on. Yeah, because we don't know? want to be seen as creepy or yeah. right. You know, like in a. Uh, I don't know. Because like, 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 like nowadays, like we're no. assaulting you. If you find a woman attractive, it's like, ew. Yeah, you're, 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 yeah. you're, you're immediately a creep. Right. Yep. Unless, you're, get, unless you're good looking. Unless, unless you're good looking. <laughs> <laughs> and can you give me an, I guess it's different for everybody, but can you give me, like, give me an example of, like, when you say, oh, he's too nice. What would be an example of a guy who's too nice? Yeah. What does that mean? Mm, just like constantly texting you. How are you? What you doing? You know, like all the things that they just somebody you who's constantly available to you, right? Oh, yeah. Not giving oh, whatever you're space. looking for. <laughs> what a dick. Always on time. <laughs> well, you said what makes a guy no, nice, no. right? Yeah, yeah. So I know. Makes too a guy nice. nice. No, too nice. Well, that's too nice. Because you want nice. You want nice, yes, but too nice. I think too like nice. Ravy's saying is like, there's no space. I can't breathe. You know. Mm-hmm. It also like be nice, but don't be in my for face. For me, about it. because I have you know trust issues, it makes me suspicious. <laughs> I'm like, well, why mm. are you being so nice? Why are you doing all these things for me? I'll like, tell what's you your why. end game? You know what I mean? Uh, like, yeah, <laughs> yeah I like to bang. Uh, we know <laughs> the end game. <laughs> yeah. it's not, not complicated. Yeah, uh, yeah. Right, Corey. Um, I've heard that it's really difficult to find a bra that you like that's comfortable that fits well. <laughs> so when you do find one that you like that's comfortable that fits well, why don't you just keep buying that same bra? Buy more. So I'll, I'll let you know when it kind. happens. If you, you have to be professionally measured for a bra, and if you're not, the bra's not going to fit right. It's just... So it's custom? You definitely need to be measured to know your measurements. Like, if you're out there just guessing bras, uh-huh. it'll never fit. Because I've gone bra shopping with <laughs> with my ex, with, with friends, and you would think they're trying to find a needle in a haystack. Because bras are the worst. Right, but that's what I'm saying. Once you find one that works for you... Yeah. Like, yeah. Men, I, like I Menace with his t-shirts. Yeah. Like, just buy the same one over. People do, though.
I don't I don't wear them, so I can't speak on this. Nice. Oh, okay. <laughs> Lucky. I'm with Ravy. I've never found one that I've gone, oh, this is it. This is this the bra. never happened. Really? really? Yeah. Every bra has huh. something wrong with it. But have y'all been fit for bras? No. Professionally, uh, no. Not I you, need a professional measure. Greg? Well, I thought she was asking the room. Oh. We were going to have Dennis do a fit. Why yeah, would she I'm be asking the room? <laughs> Everybody. Greg's like, nah. No, I have no, not. Greg measured for has a bra. not been measured for a bra. <laughs> and, I, and I've never used a tam. Yeah, have you ever been measured for <laughs> oh, a bra? Weird. Not professionally, no. Okay. Well, so that was a, I didn't a, even know that was a, a segment thing. on Broad City where the moms took the girls to go get professional measurements. Yeah. And they're like, Aww. oh my God, a, a bra that finally fits. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't I'm, seem that hard. Mm-hmm. Yeah, here's it's another question so uh, on the text. How do you know, and this is, this is okay, I know this is like uh, more lowest common denominator, but I am curious. It's just based on time, or like, do you know when your tampon's full? You know Great when your question. tampon's full. Yeah, how do you know to, when to yeah. change it? Right. It's just like a just knowing. Swap just... it out. Go into the bathroom. Oh, okay. regardless. <laughs> yeah, regardless. Yeah. Okay, I don't. I don't know. There's no so feeling. Legitimate question. Time. Like honest, know. honest yeah. question. And is it a heavy flow day? Is it a lighter flow day? Why are you getting upset? You flow heavy in the beginning. <laughs> okay. And you know, lighter, but there's different sizes. There's like jumbo tamps. And then there's lighter flow tamps. So there's nothing for like the Apple Watch where like a light comes on, like a like <laughs> oh, a I low like a, like a, like a yeah, low fuel great. light kind of thing. Dude, that'd be awesome. <laughs> a check engine light. I know. <laughs> or like <laughs> just hey, just still here. <laughs> Not saying, well, like, look, a reminder. Where there... you can feel it, like I guess is the question. I, or I you, guess. You just change it regardless? I ch- I just change it. Yeah, you kinda know in the back of your head how long. You're like, oh, this thing's been in for like Five right. hours, so I gotta swap it up. And you know yourself as a person. We're not yeah. those idiot women that forget it and uh, right. get it a month later. Oh my god, the toxic shock. Mm. I knew a girl that had to go to the hospital and get it removed. Like so embarrassing. <laughs> oh an idiot. Imagine telling Sick. people like, Oh yeah, I just no, got I, the I forgot, I forgot I had a tampon, tampon in. A tamp. Jeez. So dumb. Idiot. That has never happened yeah. to me in life. You've never forgot. You never no. forgot. Have you no. ever forgotten? Never. Okay. Cause cause not morons. All right, well, yeah. I mean, I know the thing with the uh the hair stuck to the wall in the shower, like that I is, on, and it is on purpose. It so it doesn't What's go in the drain, right? Yeah, so it doesn't go in the. You drain. have to like end but up clearing out the drain. But then there's no way to get it off. the I wall. know. If, if they, they forget, leave it there. Right. they forget. It's like the girls that forget their tampons. Right, they forget <laughs> even though yeah. they're standing. Because like my yeah. sister would do that growing up. I know. These, it's like gross. Big long ha- strands of hair on the wall. Sometimes my uh, wife, because she'll collect it, like at the end of the shower, <laughs> and it'll be like this. It, it looks like a hamster sitting on a hairball. On the uh, either on the floor of the shower or on the right. a little bench in there, like she'll yep. sit it on there. I'm like, can you come get this? Right. <laughs> like I know it's just like hair from her head and stuff, but it's like it's all coated. Like it's when you and... turn the water off, your memory turns off. <laughs> like yeah. it's right there. Yeah. All right. So more questions for the ladies. I do have a quick question. When you know, like, where do you want to go eat? Oh, you know where you really want. <laughs> Here's a question because just Andrew say. Andrew's on the phone. He had that question. Okay, good morning, sweet. Andrew. Hey, Andrew. Hi, good morning, big fan. Yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, so like you, yeah. and then we have another one. Women are so indecisive of what to eat when you ask them, but then when you give them options, they don't like any of the options. No. They know where they want to go. Is this hardwired into your programming, ladies? Look, I will always say what I want to eat. Yeah. Because I don't like to do that dance. Mm. If I, I hate it. If I yeah. want some pizza, let's go for pizza. Yeah. You know, burger, whatever, fancy dinner, let's go out for steaks or something like that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, was that question phrased right for you, Andrew, to satisfy your curiosity? That, that was it. My biggest question was just like, woman, well, I why is it so difficult to find a place to eat? Yeah. Because you know what you want to eat. Right. And I don't know what you want to eat. It'd be easier if you just tell me. But I agree. Yeah. That way. And most guys don't care. I think mm-hmm. most dudes are like, I'll find something. And right. they're totally fine. I think women are typically more mm-hmm. like selective when it comes to like what I'm eating today or what I had earlier. Like, guys, we're just garbage disposals. We yeah. pretty much eat whatever. Yeah, I think I'm the same way as like I'm not picky at all. I can eat anything. Yeah. So restaurant doesn't matter to me, fast food, whatever. So I genuinely don't care. But people don't believe that when I'm like, oh, I don't care. Right. You know? Yeah. Yeah, I'm the worst. I always say. I don't care. You pick unless it's somewhere that I w- don't want to go. That's, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. That's, what yeah. That's what we're saying. That's what we're saying. Then just say where you want to go. Or because, say where you uh-huh. don't want to go. Because I. Like my wife will say, all right, um, anywhere. I'm fine with pretty much anywhere but fast food. I don't want fast food. Okay. All right. Cool. Yeah. All right. That uh, one category down. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or what I'll do is I'll throw out three places. Choose. Well, there you go. You know, here. Yeah. I don't Here's, know. I just threw out three places, and I'm always thinking about maybe you know places that I know she likes, or that there's something there that I know she loves, mm-hmm. and I'll throw something out there. And there are three different things. 
Uh, one is maybe like more of a sit down menu thing. Other one's more of a fast, casual Chipotle type thing. And maybe something's just kind of like a grab and go. I don't know. There are options. Sure. And if you, or unless you have any other ideas, you let me know. Right. I hate, you're right though, right? Yeah. That yeah. dance of what's for dinner is my uh, least yeah. favorite <laughs> question. <laughs> the worst. It's ridiculous. Least favorite question. Greg Gorey. I would like to know, do your ears turn off when you wear flip flops or boots, like Ugg boots? Oh, clock, because clock. <laughs> drag, drag, clump, 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 drag, drag. There's somebody in this room that wore Ugg boots recently, and it was like, like, oh, pick up your pick feet. Pick up your feet, Sammy. <laughs> like, do you not hear it? Oh, I thought it was Seabass. Okay. <laughs> do women not hear it? Uh, I guess not. They huh? like it. I don't really wear I mean, Ugg boots I don't think that's exclusive to women. People don't pay attention to the noise they're Mostly making. Women. People don't. Yeah, I mean, well, People in general do not. I'm not saying it's not. Yeah. only women. So do you not have the but, same complaint about heels? Because those are very loud shoes. I like that sound, actually. Right, but that's a kind of a I, I love nice the sound. clicking. So I guess it depends on whether yeah. so it's just <laughs> sound very loud. So you're not shoes. dragging your feet in heels. You're just walking. Yeah. I mean, but Bravey it's, it's, makes comments when I, I don't have my Crocs in sport mode. And then right. they make some. <laughs> Wait, what? Because <laughs> Menace will flip and flop his way down the hall. That I'm is like, heel oh clip my on. God. Yeah. That's a thing. It's yeah. not women exclusive. It's, the, it's that little like strap that goes all, all on the over back. The, the back of the heel. So you don't wear the, the strap oh and God, then it Menace. makes the sound. He calls that sport mode. Oh, sorry, I mean, that's oh everybody so does. Everybody does. does. That's a hilarious that's internet joke. Dumb. Yeah. Crocs do. Well, yeah. well, then let this be a plea to society. Yeah, yeah. well, Sammy, pick your feet. Not just Not just Sammy. My question is what is the obsession with whether or not you have bangs? Oh. That oh. is uh, every girl. Oh my God! I can't believe it. I'm gonna, I just I'm overheard gonna, a conversation about this. Yes, I'm going to get bangs. I'm not going to get bangs. Good question. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Question. Yeah. <laughs> Why does it matter so much in your life? And well, you that spend... is a big deal. I mean, bangs. That's going to be the first thing a person sees. That's how you greet the world. But guys don't care unless they're no. ridiculous. Like, God, guys don't care, but other girls care. Looks oh like my light. God! Mm. Sammy just got bangs. But why? <laughs> That's my question. Why do you care so much about bangs? Such a big deal. Because you don't know what they're going to look like, and sometimes you see them on other people, and you go, Oh, I want it looks good on them right. yeah but if you try it it takes so long to come back from it and plus there's a stigma that you're going it. through a crisis a if you stigma. get bangs. <laughs> are you serious yeah, oh, yeah. that you've just lost your but, goddamn mind yeah. again but that's really only, uh -huh. only with other girls guys that is crisis yes yeah, yeah but, like if you get bangs or you dye your hair a different color then people think like oh she's going through yeah it. yeah, yeah. She's really spiraling. Really? Spiraling. Like, that i noticed i didn't notice with bangs though but some of the ladies like some of them foreheads out there you should be rocking bangs that's the thing i think it has to do with your shape of your face so yeah. i'm kind of jealous can rock it, some yeah. can't because it's same with middle mm -hmm. part too some girls look good some don't all right uh question on the text from the 412 do women realize that leggings are the worst fashion <laughs> item of all time they should <laughs> they're not yes depending on who's it wearing depends them. on who's wearing them <laughs> yeah a lot of you shouldn't be wearing them well right. they're the most comfortable fashion yeah item and they're right. super easy all right uh why does it seem like all women can't control their bladder when they laugh, they pee. When they cry, they pee. <laughs> you gotta pee every when time. You, they when smile. you cry, they, you pee. Cry? They pee. You need kegels. You frown. You pee. You're just not strong enough <laughs> yeah. down there. Um, really? Is that, that's just yeah. like a. I heard that's just like a after you have kids thing, right? Or old, you know. Or you know, old uh, aging. Oh, no. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Even if you don't have kids, you're just. There's gonna nothing lose. that happens like yeah. where you like uh, sneeze and pee a little. Or not yet. No. You're laughing and pee a little. Not yet. So many <laughs> things to look forward to. Right. Yeah, right. No. Damn old. That doesn't Rules. happen. No, it doesn't happen. Hmm. They always have to pee though. Yeah. The, oh, right. Oh, that's true. Oh, that that's true. true. Yeah, they do that move where they go, they take their hands and they kind of push on their bladder a little bit. They go, ooh, I have to pee. <laughs> oh, wow. I don't have to that's push on my bladder to know I have to pee. That's how you tell. I know. Yeah. Why do women, when they go to hug other women, when they put their arms out, they turn their palms outwards? Who does that? I see that all the time. Yeah. Like, oh, hey. Yeah. And, I've never seen and that. Gay dudes do it too. What? Yeah, I haven't seen that. You haven't I seen don't that? Know. What wow, the hell are you talking weird. about? There. Put your hands straight out, yeah. like where your palms are facing each other. Now turn them to the outside. Uh -huh. Yeah, know, like counterclockwise. Oh, I about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they I go. Have, oh, hi. Right. I have never seen. It's this. a certain demographic of ladies. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's the. Oh my God! Like the people right. who oh. pretend that they're amazed to see their friend they saw it Tuesday. <laughs> 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 Uh, a question on the text. I don't text. know who those chicks are. Thank God. Question on the text. Where is the G spot? <laughs> Up and in. <laughs> How far? If you find it, let me know. Yeah, you, I mean, it's, there's. You don't there's think not, it exists, mm -hmm. Rafe? There's no, not. Oh, it's please. a myth. No, is that a myth? No, yes. oh, a thousand percent not. I think everybody's different. So, but I don't think it's a myth. Is it the same general I vicinity? 
Like the same neighborhood, or is every For, woman's in a different neighborhood? I like think a it's all general area. vicinity. I couldn't give you directions. Because yeah. like, <laughs> it's a myth. Because <laughs> right. it's a mythical place. <laughs> but some people know where to find it. Yeah, yeah. yeah we do. Uh, but look, <laughs> Women are liars. Look at the vibrator, uh, the rabbit. Look how look it's shaped. Look at the rabbit, okay. sure. The, look at that curve. Mm -hmm. That's exactly where that thing's going. Yeah. I know, so, but like... There's a lot of uh, the rabbit knows. There's a lot of give to the the, 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 the depth. <laughs> it could be well an inch or two. There's not a lot of room in there. Like right around the yeah. corner, kind of thing. Yeah. Up and in, easy. Uh, yeah. Up and in, easy. How about this Up text? Up and in. I mean, like, is, so it's you say it's not a thing. You I say, say it's, it's a, a thing. I say it's a thing, but everybody's different. A thing or no? I don't. I don't. I don't know. I feel you so bad okay. for y'all. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever felt don't worry in pleasure? Yeah, uh, yes. Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> Allegedly. Don't worry about Allegedly. me. Yeah. Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of which, I've got a uh, a little tiny yeah. vibrator for one of you guys. You oh, it. sweet. This is a free gift at the AVN Awards. It's, Ooh. A, it's like a Hatachi that's, wand. That's but it's so nice. Like an inch. It's a little mini. That was, that was, uh, oh. that was really nice. Uh, Woody, there the is, tiniest, most there is pathetic a text thing I've ever seen. Yeah. We have the age old question that we've been asking forever. It's mm -hmm. from the 515. It says, Why do women, why are women so hard on other women? When you should oh. be uniting. That's uh, that's Great actually question. that's a that's a good question. I'm a uniter. Are you? Yep. Yeah. I don't I know think about that's that. That's a dumb yeah. question. Because why? Do are men nice to well, all men? Because we should unite. No, um, but it just seems it's like just if, the it, most basic let's, bitch. There are definitely no, no, daddy no. chicks out there for sure. It's not because like if a woman does something awesome and you ask another woman about it. There will always be some kind of backhanded comment. The cattiness is real. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. It there, depends why? on the woman. I yeah, think it's a confidence some. thing. So same with men or women. If you're confident in yourself, you don't mind. Yeah, you don't yeah. need to okay. strike Giving out flowers like that. to other people. Yeah, yeah. But if you're insecure mm -hmm. or something, then you see as everyone else's competition. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, it's status seeking. It's sure. just how they do it, not how men do uh, it. Do you think it's more like a ugly chick or a pretty chick thing? <laughs> well, there's... Mm. There, there was... Uh, Menace brings it up every once in a while. Like, oh, let me guess. Like someone who's complaining about uh, I, I, like, um, supermodel, they're uh, oh, me, yeah. a pageant or something yeah, like that. Yeah, like, oh, let me guess who's complaining. And he like pulls yeah. up profiles <laughs> and stuff, and he's right like 95% yeah. of the time. It's, another, it's not another pageant goer. <laughs> yeah, here, one last question uh, for the text. The obsession with popping pimples. Why do so many people love that? <laughs> oh, Disgusting. I love it too. Uh, Never. I think it's a medical thing because, like, for me, like, once I get started, I can't stop. I know, but on like, other people, like, you'll oh, on, see, like, oh no, like, I don't your, do that on no. your partner, like, Hell ooh, no, no. Dog. ooh, let me get it. <sighs> right, that's, that's it. the disgusting. most disgusting. Or a friend, thing. ooh, mm. let me get it. Nope. Yeah. My daughter's obsessed with that. Oh, mm. oh. God, I don't get yeah. it. Well, and, her and Menace can sit in a pimple popping <laughs> circle. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Those people are just pickers. I mean, it's it's the peeling of sunburns and stuff, too. They just like to pick at other people. Oh, yeah. Other people, no, though. thanks. Yeah, it's a mm. thing. I mean, I don't know that it's female-specific. It's just a general well, like men are picker or you're I've not. never yeah. seen a dude go up to somebody else and go, ooh, let me ooh, get it. Right, let me pop <laughs> it. Yeah, but like, that's I definitely, it. if, mm. if it's going to happen, it's going to be a woman who does that. And menace. Could never and men do it. Well, yeah, and, and menace. menace. And menace. But All I'm right. half woman. Well, uh, ladies, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Appreciate your uh, contributions mm -hmm. to this uh, International Women's Day round of Ask the Ladies. This is how we learn. Yeah. This is how we learn. <laughs>